the word must have as a minimalistic person. Today I'm going to be showing you my newborn must-haves. I have two-year-old twin boys and I also have a three-month-old so I have done this a couple times. With the boys I thought I needed all these things and I had all these things on my registry that I thought I needed. I purchased them but did I really use them? No. So what it came down to I found that just having these things is enough to feel good for me. In my opinion these things are really all you need with a newborn. I'm very minimalistic. I don't like to have a lot of stuff or a lot of things that don't have a purpose or that I'm not using often. I, these are things that I have used and loved and would definitely repurchase if I ever had more babies. First favorite thing is just a simple swaddle. These two swaddles are by Little Unicorn and they're bamboo swaddles. They're organic as well. Just amazing quality and beautiful prints. I just have loved using these swaddles for my daughter and for my boys. It's just been my favorite. It's the ones that I have chosen over and over again when I'm looking to swaddle my babies. I just constantly reached for the little unicorn bamboo swaddles. Tried and true, I love them and I would definitely repurchase them again if I ever had more babies. Another word must have is Honey Babe organic cotton gowns. Babe clothing. It's just a small mom-owned shop in Utah. They make these amazing cotton knotted gowns for newborns. And actually, they're sized zero to six months. So even though they're a little on the pricier side and nicer, I got a lot of use out of these because you can wear them for six months. So we're still wearing them today. They just basically are great for the nighttime or the daytime, but it's just awesome to use as kind of like a one deal situation because it is like a swaddle and it does hold their feet inside, really keep them snug and comfortable. It's the stretchiest, most comfortable material. It just feels super nice. Like you know right when it comes in the mail and you open it that this is a nice company and a nice brand of clothing and you want to put your baby in it, you know? So Honey Babe Clothing, definitely need to check it out. Dotted gowns, they have beautiful color selections. Just got delivered a babe. So my third newborn must have is kind of funny, but you do need it and it's very useful. Always just notice that my baby's nails grew really quickly. And they start to scratch themselves and scratch their faces. Really handy to have a baby nail clipper. This one is from the brand Roost. We just got it off of Amazon. I really like it. It's a really good little baby nail clipper. I don't know. I'm not sure if every baby nail clipper is of the same quality, but I have to say this one is pretty good. I actually used it for the boys and now I use it for baby ever as well. We've used it a good few times for her. Found that this has been really handy dandy and really useful and I do need it. My fourth newborn must have is this Everyone Baby Lotion Calming Chamomile and Lavender. I used it with the boys. This company has a lotion and a baby soap. Just love the smell. The ingredients are super pure. I just pick it up from my local health food store. It says hypoallergenic from cheek to cheek. We've never had any problems with it. It's never given my babies any rashes. Super sensitive, calming. It doesn't have too strong of a smell. It's just the perfect amount of calming chamomile and lavender scent. I really like to use this on my babies, both the soap and the lotion. The must have is essential oils. I like the brands doTERRA and Young Living. They're my favorite brands of essential oils. I think they are of the best quality. They are essentially both food grade. I think doTERRA might be just food grade, but Young Living is great quality as well. What I like to do with these essential oils, my personal, my favorites for my babies are frankincense, and lavender, but I'm out of lavender right now. So I use Console, which is an amazing oil with frankincense, patchouli, mangulang, bark oil, sandalwood, and rose. So I take a tablespoon of coconut oil and I drop a few drops of an essential oil in the coconut oil, mix it together, and I put it on my hands and I just give my babies little massages, whether it be on their back or their feet or their legs, or wherever I'm just feeling like massaging them, I will take those essential oils and use them in that way. Diluting essential oils in the coconut oil just ensures that it's super sensitive for your little baby, 
and it won't be too much for them. All my children have reacted super well to essential oils. We love having them around and using them lots of different ways. I plan on talking about essential oils a lot in the future. They're just really helpful for moms and everybody. They just help to ease pain, anxiety, irritability, them feel good if they're teething or feeling uncomfortable in any way. So I have found them super handy and awesome to use. Definitely my Fisher Price Moonlit Meadow Swing. Wow, has that thing been a blessing. I didn't use a swing with the boys. I really wish I did. I didn't know about them at the time. I didn't know that they would possibly change my life so drastically. I heard of a lot of my friends that had used the baby swings and of course I was gonna have two toddlers running around and a newborn. So I thought I definitely need to purchase one. I just did a little bit of research did kind of want the Mamaru, but I didn't want to invest in the Mamaru. And I thought, really, is it that magical? Is it that special, the Mamaru? Or is another swing gonna make her just as happy? Honestly, my girl is super into the swing. I didn't try it with my boys. I'm sure not every baby is into it, but she really likes the swing. She likes the motion of swinging back and forth, and she can sleep for hours in it. It has 16 songs, six modes of speed. It's pricey for a must-have item. Pricey, this list of must-have items but it is definitely helpful especially if you have other young kids basically I had seen these diaper bags on Instagram and really wanted them so for my birthday this is what I got right before I had ever like six months before I had ever I invested in this diaper bag because I just knew that was what I wanted and I would be getting so much use out of it for my three babies and myself it has a perfect amount of space it's my Bond Design diaper bag, and it's super big and amazing, and they come in beautiful colors. There's a gray color, a red color, a pink color, white, I think. There is just so much room in here. It's like a Mary Poppins bag. Like, I'll take out snacks, and then I'll take out swaddles, and blankets, and outfits, and diapers, and tons and tons of things that can fit in here. There's also pockets in here with zippers. So really full of stuff right now. But there's also this front compartment that's amazing. I just love this diaper bag so much. I use it every second. Really wanted this diaper bag. So I got it as a gift for my birthday from Naya and it's been my favorite thing ever. I really recommend it. It's a wonderful bag. My last newborn must have is my ring sling that I use to carry my babies. You can carry your babies up to 45 pounds in this carrier. It's from Aloha and Light. Dot com. Just made by a mama made out of hemp silk, amazing quality. She hand dyes them absolutely beautifully. I have used these since the boys. I would actually wear both the boys on me. Still could today, they're not 45 pounds. I would, like I love to wear my babies and I absolutely love ring slings. I've tried stretchy wraps, ergo carriers, woven wraps. Ring slings are by far my favorite. They are so easy once you get the hang of them. Once you get the hang of them, it's just absolutely fun and a breeze and you can breastfeed in them, go on hikes with them. If you're ever going on an adventure, they're just amazing to carry your baby in. So I highly recommend a ring sling baby carrier just because I find it the easiest and the most comfortable. How the weight is distributed, I just find it super comfortable. That was my newborn must-haves video as a pretty minimalistic person for the things that I reached for the most and that I got the most use out of. Of course, if you were bottle feeding other things you would need. This is just work, what works for me. I love things of good quality. Even if I don't have tons and tons of things, I like to have a few things that are of good quality. Yes! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you tomorrow. Um, um.